Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another video for you guys. Today guys, I'm potentially starting a brand new video series on the channel titled Arrowverse Elseworlds. It's essentially the same concept as Marvel's What If, the new show airing on Disney+, Plus, where a change is made within the timeline of the Arrowverse that greatly affects something, and then the domino effect occurs, basically making a whole bunch of changes that creates a new timeline, essentially, out of that one change that happened in the timeline. And as you guys saw with the thumbnail and the title of this video, we are covering... What if Laurel Lance became a meta due to the particle accelerator exploding? I'm excited to get into this, and what was really cool is a number of you were actually thinking the same thing and recommended this type of story for one of these episodes if I was to do this video series. So if you want to see more past this first episode, please let me know in the comments below. I really want to hear your thoughts. Let's get into it, and I'm going to talk about the change and then the domino effect that basically creates because of the change over the next number of years in the Arrowverse timeline. Let's go. First things first, how do we get Laurel Lance to Central City before the Particle Accelerator explodes? It's very simple. Her mother, Dinah, lives in Central City. The night of the Particle Accelerator exploding, they're both out and about. A would-be thief steals Dinah's purse, and Laurel decides to go after this individual to try to stop him. When she loses him through a scuffle and the person gets away, she's screaming and frustrated and angry because she tried so hard to stop this individual. And then the Particle Accelerator explodes, and in the midst of that screaming, she gets the canary cry. Now, some time has passed. She's in Starling City. This is still in the events of Arrow Season 2. She's debating with herself whether or not she should tell everyone that she's close to and she knows that she has this ability, this gift, and she's really confused on how to control it, and she sometimes accidentally uses it, and it's basically just really messing with her life. She finally tells her sister Sarah what's going on and shows her what she can do, and Sarah takes Laurel to Oliver and basically reveals to Laurel that he is the vigilante and he is a part of Team Arrow. And this, of course, is a major change as well when Laurel becomes involved with Team Arrow and everything like that. And it's a big change there. For the rest of Season 2 into Season 3, Laurel is going through what I call a slow burn, if you will, with training and learning to control her meta ability, her canary cry, and her slowly getting to the point where she's becoming the Black Canary on Team Arrow. This also changes the dynamic of Team Arrow because... Up to this point, it's just been vigilantes, people going out into the city or Felicity behind a computer. They've never had a meta, and that changes the dynamic of a lot of things. She is learning more and more that her meta ability, her canary cry, is not what makes her a hero. It does not make her the black canary. It is a part of why, but it's not the main reason. She wants to help protect the city and help Oliver and the rest of Team Arrow stop people from destroying and taking over the city that she grew up in that she loves and that's a very important part of her journey because of this change in the timeline in my personal opinion i have made the decision that sarah lance does not die in the season three premiere of arrow she actually gets to live on and be a part of team arrow into season three four and then into season five which of course is adrian chase she does not die and then is revived and then goes on the wave rider and legends not because i dislike legends but i just feel that with this major change in the character of Laurel and her becoming a meta, I just feel like it would fundamentally change a lot of things that would unfold around her, especially with her sister, Sarah. So I feel like that's a major change that I want to keep within this new continuity. Now to the awfulness and dreadfulness of Arrow Season 4. Of course, with Laurel becoming a meta in Season 2 and changing certain outcomes and certain events changing within Season 2, Season 3, and then throughout Season 4 leading up, to the point of Laurel's original death in the timeline of Arrow Season 4, and of course Sarah being on Team Arrow greatly affecting certain outcomes and changes there, Laurel Lance does not die by Damien Dark's hands. Damien Dark kills Quentin Lance, and he thinks this is going to be a major retaliation and a major blow to Team Arrow, which it is. However, this actually brings Laurel and Sarah closer together in uniting and actually training harder, working harder, and of course the rest of Team Arrow as well, and that actually backfires majorly on Damian Dark. Now, within the events of Season 4 of Arrow, we have Season 2 of The Flash, which introduces Black Siren. Now, instead of Team Flash going up against Black Siren, who, of course, is working for Zoom at the time, we have Black Canary, our Laurel, go to The Flash and face off against Black Siren, which, of course, is a major change in the timeline. The fight is pretty cool, obviously, pretty evenly matched until our loyal Black Canary gets the upper hand and defeats her and puts Black Siren in a much angrier and darker place than she is in the original timeline because now she has been defeated by a better version of herself and she has to get revenge and to fight back and to essentially kill the better version of herself because she can't have that. 
Within Season 5 of Arrow, we have the Adrian Chase storyline. We have all those events pretty much unfolding to a T. Obviously, not exactly due to the change because Laurel is in the mix. Sarah's in the mix. Uh, Dinah Drake, unfortunately, does not appear due to this change. She just does not come across the radar of Team Arrow. But the difference is, is that once we get to Leanne Yu with Black Siren, that rematch between Black Siren and Black Canary is a major shift. Because within that fight... They both get lost for a while because when the Lian Yu explosion, they're off fighting somewhere else and they're both presumed dead and we're not sure what happens. A little later into Arrow Season 6, our Black Canary, Laurel Lance, shows up and of course has to prove herself that she is not Black Siren because they're questioning everything, but she quickly proves she is who she says she is. There is no trick. It's revealed they both were badly injured and Black Siren actually dies because of her injuries, even though Laurel, our Laurel, tried to save her even though... She could not be redeemed. She tried really hard to still save her life, but unfortunately could not. And that greatly affects her. And she has to overcome that throughout Arrow Season 6. Getting into Season 8, obviously the timeline has majorly shifted, but they are still helping the Monitor stop crisis from happening. That is still a thing within this timeline. But of course, it's not Black Siren as a redeemed Black Canary helping Oliver and the rest of Team Arrow. It is Laurel Lance, our original Laurel Lance, who's been through this whole entire process and been through there throughout the whole journey. Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 1 at the end there where Oliver sacrifices himself to save more lives on Earth-38. Laurel Lance also does the same thing in helping Oliver and actually saves more lives than he would have originally because she stood by his side to help as much as possible to get people off of Earth-38 before it was completely wiped out by Crisis. Oliver dies, however Laurel does survive, but she's badly injured but she's slowly healing and helping as much as she possibly can because of this event and trying to honor Oliver's memory and trying to fight back against the Anti-Monitor. Laurel is there with Sarah and Barry when Oliver, as the Spectre, is sacrificing himself to recreate the multiverse. They are there together by each other's side till the very end, and it is truly a monumental, sad moment for these two characters who've been fighting side by side, who've known each other for a very long time, and they've come so far together as Black Canary and Green Arrow, and of course as Laurel Lance and Oliver Queen. I do have one more change I would like to mention that I haven't mentioned up to this point. I was saving it for the people that sat through the whole video, watched my Arrowverse Elseworlds tale, and wanted to know what is the last thing I'm going to say before ending the video. So, this is for you. Laurel and Oliver are together. They get married, and it's hinted at Oliver's funeral that Laurel is pregnant with his child. And that's where we leave it at. There is no more story. That is what it is. I know people are going to be saying, but wait a minute, when did they get together? I'm not 100% sure, but I feel the bonding comes back quick once he has to start training her and realizing that she really wants to be a hero. She has this gift and they slowly start bonding and that's when the change occurs on that front. So I'll leave it at that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoying this Arrowverse Elseworlds tale. I, I had a really fun time you know, creating this concept, this Elseworlds idea. Of course, there's a couple of things I might have left out I could have included. But what did you think of my Arrowverse Elseworlds tale of Laurel Lance becoming a meta through the Particle Accelerator, becoming the Black Canary? Whatever thoughts you have, positive if you agreed or disagree with some of the decisions, you want to make some other changes or you disliked it for whatever reasons you have, let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a great time doing it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out.